Hey everyone, this is another video to talk about an in-class assignment and today we are going to be making a distillation column. So I'm going to go ahead, click on new to start a new simulation. So once again we're going to <clears throat> add from Aspen properties. So we've got two components. I'm just going to copy and paste their titles. We've got 1,2-dichloroethane add that in and 1,1,2-trichloroethane add that in. <clears throat> Those are going to be our two components and then today we're going to be using the Pang-Robinson equation of state. So OK, all blue on the side means we're good to go. Alright, so now that we're at the simulation, I'm going to do what I normally do. Add this over to the side and auto hide it. So we're going to pull that out and go to columns, distillation column subflow sheet. I'm going to click on that and add it to the main workspace. So if I double click on it, I'll open it up and we've got all sorts of stuff here. So I'm going to label the feed as feed. We're going to change the number of stages to 21. We're going to change the inlet stage to stage 9. We're not going to have any optional side draws. We're going to have a total condenser, which will reduce that to 1. I'm going to just label that uh, condensate and label that bottoms. Column name is fine. So condenser energy, label that QC. Reboil energy, label that QR. Great. So we filled out everything that we need to. I can click next. So this is if we did want a different type of reboiler. For this instance, we're just going to keep it as a normal once through reboiler, just the default value and call it good. Go to next. All right, here we're going to need to specify pressures. So 101.3 kPa or 1 atm. And keep going. So these are temperature estimates. I'm going to ignore them for now. If for some reason you have a hard time converging, then you can enter those temperature estimates in, but you don't need them. All right, <clears throat> so here are some things that we need to specify. So these are basic ones. Uh, liquid flow rate of 60 kilogram moles per hour or k mole per hour. You'll notice that we could have pushed done. That's because it would allow us to spec these later or spec different things. We're going to spec the reflux ratio of 2. Click on done. All right. So we've got everything entered that we need to, but we have not specified what the feed is. So go into my worksheet over here, this one that was just open, or I could just click on my feed and enter it in like we normally did in some of the, in the previous examples we've had. <clears throat> so feed, uh, vapor fraction of 1, pressure of 1, uh, 1 atm, molar flow of 100, then double click on that to get the composition. So for this we're going to use 60% dichloroethane and 40% trichloroethane. Okay, all right, flashing that. And then in here, so this one, even though I go to home, you see it's active, we actually need to run the call. <clears throat> now you see that it's converged, and we've got all this set out. Uh, one of the other things it asks you to do is to specify the Rui boil rate. So if I go over, so this is the column, so if I double click on the column, I'll bring this up. I'll go over to the design tab and click on specs. So you'll notice reflux ratio, active current, distillate rate, active current, reflux rate, 
is not active or current, and same with bottoms product rate. So what we want to do is if we want to do a, a column reboiler ratio, so reboiler ratio spec, click on that, add the spec in. Um, so I don't know what the current spec value is. So I'm going to go to summary. The current value that it's calculated is 1.922. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in there and push done. So we've got the bottom boil up ratio, which we, we could enter that in there as well. So I'm going to put uh, active, make it current, and then I'm going to disable the reflex ratio. Make that unactive and not current, and run that. Converged. Good. So that should be everything that you've been asked to do, just to show you some other cool things in here. So you'll notice that the QC gives us our heat flow in kilojoules per hour. QR gives us our heat stream going to the reboiler. If I double click on this, <clears throat> I can go over, I mean, there's a lot of things that we can go over. So I go over to performance and column profiles. <clears throat> you can see the liquid and the vapor. What I'm interested in is plots. I think these are really cool. So <clears throat> we can view either a table or a graph. I like the graph, but if you need to import it into Excel for something, you can do that. So this is the temperature profile throughout the column, <clears throat> which looks pretty good. I mean, you don't have a whole lot of flat in there. The composition, that's another good graph to look at. Also, just a small thing of a little bit of flat, but not too much. It means we're getting good good separation in there. Uh, K values, you can view that graph. Uh, we'll get to this when you have multiple components, but the light and heavy key, yeah, it's not going to show me anything because we only have two. <clears throat> but these are all really good graphs to uh, look at. And then you can look at the condenser and reboiler, what the temperatures are, what the duties are, what the reflux flow rate. So all good things to look at. Um, if you're looking for more details, sometimes uh, people, I've seen people do this where they enter the subflow sheet. Now if you have a lot of, so I'm just going to zoom this in. So you can see they separate out the reboiler, they separate out the condenser. This is important if you're going to do things like uh, dynamics in here. What I like is it uh, clearly shows you top stage, bottom stage. So it tells you how many stages there are and it tells you uh, what stages things are happening on. So I do more complex uh, distillation where we have several outlets and several inlets and this is very handy to just get a visual of what stage things are entering on and what stage things are exiting on. <clears throat> so I like it. And then we can easily get out of it by going uh, back to parent, which will take us back to the normal sheet. So that should be enough to get you going and to set up a regular distillation column.